Baik, seterusnya Pertubuhan Kesihatan Sedunia WHO mengulangi rayuan supaya Israel mematuhi undang-undang antarabangsa berkaitan laluan selamat untuk penghantaran bantuan. Ini susulan amaran golongan kanak-kanak di Gaza kini berdepan kebuluran akibat kekurangan makanan. Amaran ini dikeluarkan selepas cerapan data mendapati empat daripada lima kanak-kanak langsung tidak makan sepanjang hari, sekurang-kurangnya sekali dalam tempoh tiga hari. This was a snapshot survey. They went around and asked, and these are children under five who are not getting food all day. And that was in the last three days before the survey. So you ask, are the supplies getting through? No. Children are starving. Menurut jurucakap WHO, Dr. Margaret Harris, 95% kanak-kanak berusia 6 ke 23 bulan hanya makan dari dua atau kurang hidangan daripada kumpulan makanan sehari. Saranan WHO adalah kanak-kanak makan sekurang-kurangnya daripada lima kumpulan makanan sehari. We continue to insist that Israeli authorities um, obligation under the law to facilitate delivery of aid does not stop at the border. It does not stop when you drop off just a few meters across the border and then drive away and then leave it to humanitarian to drive through active combat zones which they cannot do uh, to pick it up. So To answer your question, no, the aid that is getting in is not getting to the people. Minggu ini pejabat koordinasi bantuan PBB OCHA mengumumkan sejak Januari lebih 93,400 kanak-kanak di bawah usia 5 tahun mengalami masalah kekurangan zat. Daripada jumlah itu 7,280 orang berdepan kekurangan zat akut.